I came across this story by the New York Post the other day. It's titled Bigfoot Spotted in Colorado in Broad Daylight and it's all on camera. We're convinced. So obviously I'm pretty intrigued by it. So a bit of the background, there was a couple of states in the article in Colorado claims to have captured the mythological creature Bigfoot on camera. Uh, wandering on the side of a mountain before sitting down to rest, all in broad daylight. Now, when you look at the footage, the footage is pretty detailed and convincing. I mean, the quality is spectacular. Bigfoot could possibly exist or it's a really good costume. The witnesses were on a train when they saw Bigfoot between Durango and Silverton in the Centennial States far southwest. They exclaimed, it's like Bigfoot. So they were looking for elk or deer out the window and then they spotted um, what appeared to be the alleged Bigfoot. And just to give Shannon some credibility, she's 44 years old and a contractor from Shane? I don't know. Sorry, I'm slightly cynical. We always have to be somewhat cynical, but still curious. She gives us some detail saying that it was at least six or seven feet tall and it matched the sage in the mountains so much that he's like camouflaged when crouching down. Um, and if you look at it, like, wow, the. The Bigfoot totally um, is camouflaged by its surroundings. That's pretty spectacular to me, but I don't know. What do you think? Is it real or not real? I don't know. I hope so. It'd be nice, especially with everything going on in the world right now. I mean, our ego tells us that we're the only beings on this planet. Obviously, if I was Bigfoot, I'd want to hide from humans because we tend to do really stupid things when we get really ignorant. This is seen historically, um, and now we can say that, can't we? We're a pretty dangerous race at times. So Shannon, the eyewitness, she um, shared this video on Facebook, and she said that the train conductor also had similar sightings previously. I mean, it's the same sort of thing that this article states is that, you know, people have been out in the mountains and have seen footprints that are like substantially larger in size and stride um, to, to humans and alluding based on that, that Bigfoot exists. Okay, yes, they liken Bigfoot to Chewbacca. Well, yeah, for sure. Maybe that's what Chewbacca is based on. Certain similarities there between Bigfoot and Chewbacca. The image and the video is compelling. I mean, if you know the Sasquatch law, you kind of can see the similarities there. It is compelling, very compelling indeed. The article goes on to state that Americans have been reporting sightings with many reports coming from the forests of the Pacific Northwest since the 1800s. There has been a continuity in the account of Bigfoot since the 1800s. I mean, if you look back in time, you can see how the Bigfoot is depicted and is consistent with today's most recent sighting. And they go on to say that Bigfoot has been described from everything, from a large upright ape to an actual hairy human, sometimes standing over eight feet tall and described as powerfully built. Just to quantify the sighting further, the University of Arizona weighs in and describes it as folklore, which may come from an extinct giant ape called Gigantopithecus that existed in tandem with early humans. It would also be irresponsible to rule out the possibility that the sighting was actually the musician Sax Squatch, known for playing smooth jazz in a Bigfoot getup. Well, okay, to me, I can't tell you for sure. Possibly true, possibly not. But again, a lot's happening in the world right now and having a story like this that says there's more out there than just us gives us a bit of hope, doesn't it? It's nice to think that there is 
other beings out there and hopefully they feel safe enough i doubt they feel safe enough to come out um and want to hang out with us you know even if they do exist i think they definitely live in peace they never come out and harm anyone do they like, i just thought i would share that and i think it's a nice story and it's good to have a little bit of hope that maybe there is more to the world than just us there's that so anyway that's all i have for now and i will see you in the next video